Right, H3 Hummer off-roader lovers. This is my H3 Hummer Alpha 2008 with off-road and luxury package. Today's date is September 8th, 2023. And uh, I wanna show you the second gen aluminum skid plates. They are heavy duty, 3 8 inch thick aluminum skid plates. Why do we want aluminum? Well, two reasons, rust and weight. Those steel quarter inches uh, plates that I used to sell actually weigh more than the aluminum ones significantly. Uh, and if you ever seen anyone try and put these up, they are difficult. The steel ones are. Aluminum significantly lighter. Come to the back here. We're gonna show you. I got two sets in the back here. I've, I got two sets total, my bad. I got a set in the back, but there's some already bolted up. So let's pull these bad boys out here in a second. But first, let me show you. These are the only bolts you're gonna need to mount those skid plates, okay? They're half inch bolts. They're going to go all the way through the frame rail, and then you're just going to tighten this nut down on top. It's pretty straightforward, though. Just take that half-inch drill, stick it into the hole, and start drilling. But to find where that hole is, you're going to use all the factory bolts, okay? Every other bolt is factory. And then come in close here. On the opposite side of this plate, because the plate's upside down right now, uh, basically, you're going to put a jack right somewhere here. And you're going to bend that plate up to find the hole of the drill on this side. The other hole you're going to drill is here, and then the kitty corner on that end. There's one right here, but it's easier if I just pull it out. Cool. So here's the aluminum skid plates, just to show you that you can actually pick these up with one hand. They're light. So get the other guy here, and then we'll lay it down for you. So, this is the back skid plate. This is the front skid plate. They line up just like so. And then the factory skid plate will actually come on top of this. So you'll have that aluminum front one, the steel one, and then the steel one sits on top of this. If you come in close, you'll see the instructions are in, have stickers right next to them. So passenger side in between cross member and factory skid plate is where this plate goes. This one bolt over here, driver's side in between cross member and factory skid plate. Continuing on down. So this is driver's side. Remember these are upside down right now. So driver's side, you're gonna drill this guy and this guy half inch. So you're gonna set, so back out. Got this guy right here. This is a factory bolt. The reason these ones are space is for 06s and 08s. They're ever so slightly different. So you got the passenger side factory bolt and passenger side factory bolt for both of these. Cool, so line up this bolt hole, this bolt hole, and this bolt hole, and now you'll know exactly where to drill this one. There's no bending involved in this plate, but this one does. So you're gonna wanna put the jack right here, literally somewhere right there and press up on it. Again, you got some factory bolts, so make sure you set this factory bolt and this factory bolt before considering to drill these guys. A big trick with this bolt right here, remember, <laughs> some PBR blaster, uh, might go a long ways when you take your time pulling that bolt out, okay? Be careful, you don't want to break it off. And I did mean the whole iteration of those three letters. <laughs> um, so that pretty much squares it off with what you have to do. Uh, again, jack here, and then set this one. I prefer setting these two guys. So get this one, this one, drill for this guy, and then I'll bend up for this guy. All right, we're gonna cut here. I'm gonna climb underneath. I'm gonna show you mine underneath. Ah, shoot. Uh, before we climb underneath the Hummer, let me quick show you some measurements because I'm betting you're going to want to know how big these things are. So, from front to back, we got 66 inches right there. Cool. Side to side, got 25 inches. Okay, these things are huge. You got over two foot wide and you got over five foot length adding on to the factory skid plates. Uh, and Really, the really cool part about these things that so many off-roaders don't understand, especially when they have the breathing tube, like see-through, where you can just cram sticks and mud through it. When you bottom out with these in the ruts, it makes a huge, huge difference. Because basically, you're like dropping a sled on the mud and just sliding over the top of it. There's no snag points anymore. And you just keep smoothly sliding, especially in like deep snow or something. Uh, and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, just climbing over rocks. Uh, your cross members aren't gonna catch like a rock and just dig in. You're gonna hit the skid plate and you're just gonna have a scratch going down it. No big deal. It, uh, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I can't express like how much this changes the game. You don't have to be lifted to the sky to off-road. You just gotta be able to slide over it. It's called rock crawling. We're 
gonna literally crawl over the rocks. We don't need to get over the rocks or clear the rocks. Uh, and it just makes for just unbelievable difference off-roading. That's why I really like this design. Uh, it actually started from when this one time when I got stuck behind a six foot snow drift. I really, really still to this day think if I had this Hummer with these skid plates and I hit it, the snow drift at about the six foot snow drift, I think if I hit it about 40 miles an hour, I would have been able to slide right over the top of it. But that's neither here nor there. So let's just, uh, let's go climb underneath. Let me show you where all the bolts are and show you my, uh, the ones that are bolted on my hook. All right, so bear with me. I've just climbed underneath the Hummer. Uh, these are my uh, first prototyped aluminum skid plates. It bolted up just fine, no issues. Uh, so let's start at the front so you can see the stamped steel skid plate right there. Factory bolt coming on over here. I'm not going to be able to point to it, but I'll put it in the frame. That's the other factory bolt. This is the aluminum front aluminum skid plate. Coming on back, here and here are two more factory bolts. Okay, line these guys up before you do any drilling, obviously. And then on the driver's side, so you guys are actually sitting right underneath the engine where I got the camera. Uh, these two bolts are where you drill the half inch, line up as many of the factor bolts as you can again. Um, this guy right here, this is what I mean by the PBR blaster. This bolt that I'm holding on to, if you live in the Rust Belt, can be problematic. So take your time and uh, literally those acronyms combined mean exactly what I mean. Now, so to get this last bolt, this is the last one you should drill. I'll bring you in a little closer. This one, you're going to want to put the jack right there. You're gonna to wanna to put the jack right there and then just push up on that plate until it touches and then you'll find your center for drilling your hole. You're gonna drill all the way through that cross member, all the way through the top, and then just put the bolt right on top. Let me see if I can bring you guys up here. I'll show you on mine. So you can see the two bolts. Here's, oh, I've got my watch in the way. So you got one bolt, two bolt. That's where it sticks up in there. Bring you back to the back. I'm gonna to have to, line shoot this a little you can see that factory bolt drilled through right there this is the only cross member you can't or, uh, this is the only cross member you can't drill or uh, replace this one's welded to the frame this one right here is actually removable because uh you have to be able to get the transmission out and stuff like that um but anyways uh if you guys have any questions uh use the comments below in this video or contact me through Facebook or preferably use my uh, website on the contact me page. I'll get an email to me and we'll get something figured out. Worst case scenario, I'll send you a phone number and we'll get it squared away. Oh yeah, I forgot before I go, this is battle wounds from when I went to the Appalachian Mountains recently with one of the Hummer groups and the skid is right here. I literally had the entire weight of my Hummer turtled. So all four tires are in the air spinning, balancing on there right here. No damage or anything. I'm rather more impressed than I thought these things would be. Um, yeah, so uh, go get that Hummer dirty. Go have some fun. Get off road. Thanks for watching. Later, guys.